Hello everyone, this is Reza Rad from Radicad and in this video I'm going to share a quick tip about how to have queries in the data flow, in Power BI data flow that returns objects that are not table like list, record and value. What is the trick about that? Let's see. As you can see here, I have a Power BI data flow here. Uh, if you haven't heard of data flow, I have another video that is about data flows and what is the use case of those, go and check it out. Basically it is Power BI, uh, Power Query running on cloud, uh, which is independent from Power BI dataset. The result of that would be stored in a different storage, which can be Azure Data Lake storage, or it can be CDS, depends on the type of data flow you are using. Uh, also in another video, I explained what are um, like data types, data structures in Power Query. We have tables, we can have list, which is like a column. Uh, uh, one single column, multiple rows, a record which is one row, multiple columns. It just look it, shows it this way, but in fact it is one row. And a value which is one single value. Now, if you have a data flow which has uh, these objects, something that is not a table or something that is not a function, uh, it looks fine just here when you are developing it, but as soon as you click on save and close, this will automatically will be converted to table format. As you can see, they all converted to table format. And when it is saved in the data flow, I see them as tables, right? Even if I go back to edit entities, I will see them as tables, as you can see here, they are all table icon. And if I click on any of these, they are actually a table. There is a set of transformation added automatically by the data flow at the end of those to convert whatever structure they've been into a table. Uh, this is one of the differences of Power Query in Power BI Desktop with the Power Query in uh, Dataflow. Now, why this is happening? Uh, it's kind of obvious because this, uh, these tables, all of these tables will be stored in a data storage in CSV format. So it makes sense to convert them in a table format before storing them. Uh, but However, sometimes you need them to be like a different format. You need this to be list, you need this to be record, to be a value because you are using it in another table, in another function as an input or anything like that. So what you can do, you can actually have them in that format. I'm going to remove these extra steps added. So I can have this as a list, I can have that one as a um, record and I can have this one as a value. Now, every table, every query that is marked as enable load will be converted to table when it is saving in a data flow. So you can uncheck, un uh, uncheck the enable load on these queries because usually you don't use them directly to be your output. You want this to be input of another query. So when you uncheck it, you say disable load, you can still use it in other queries, but you don't have them writing into data storage itself. So now when I say close and save and close, they would remain whatever they are in the list record and value format. Um, they won't appear here because they, I said that they are not enabling, they are not enabled load. That means they won't be stored in a CSV format. And of course, I won't be able to use computed entity on top of those, but that's fine because I probably just use the result of those into other queries, right? And when I come back here, you see that they are list, record, and value. So very a small tip, one of the differences of Power Query in Power BI Desktop with Power Query in the data flow. I hope this video helps you in your Power Query solution. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have Power BI and AI videos weekly.